Hello, welcome back to another sketch and carve tutorial. Um, today I'm going to talk a bit about the basics of sketch and carve. Let's start with our default cube. Uh, this time we are going to work on the cube. So while the cube is selected, press K, the menu will pop up. I'm going to turn off the confirm actions. This basically means that I don't have to press OK down here after each action or simply pressing K will take care of it. Um, I'll turn on Smart Switch. What Smart Switch does is basically this. If you're in Union mode, it will join the shape you just created with the main object you're working on. Otherwise, if you happen to be using Difference or Intersect, you'll go ahead and use the regular Boolean operation. That's, that's all. And let's leave the rest on as it is and press enter. And here we are. We can navigate using our controllers uh, Alt 1 or Alt 3, Alt 7. These are similar to the um, Blender's camera controls, uh, perspective camera controls. But the uh, Alt 1, Alt 3, and Alt 7 actually control the carve cam that. Uh, Sketch and Carve Adam just created because we are using this camera's point of view to carve the objects. So let's get on with it. When you first started, this is what we'll see. I can just throw a shape, press K, and I'm going to press zero to get out. And you can see what happened. It just simply carved the shape out. Um, I'm going to open the menu. The reason you're seeing this shape, this is the actual carving object we just created. And they are basically called guides. You can turn it on or off, off or on. I'm going to turn it off. And press zero again for the camera view. Let's press carve, carve, carve. We can draw different shapes, carve, rotate the camera. Go to a different angle. Let's cut something a bit more interesting. Okay. As you can see, every time I do anything at all, a new material pops up on the newly operated regions of the object. These are run random materials applied. The real reason for this is later on when you want to apply actual colors, actual materials, or when you want to work on uh, texturing, whatever, it'll make your life much easier to select them. All you have to do later on is go to uh, uh, under the material section here. Uh, this is a grease pencil object. I'll just exit this, press. If you select your object, you, you can see that all the materials are listed here. And if you go into edit and let's say, I don't know, let's select this green region click on the material, click select, and there you are. Now you can do whatever you want with this section. Or you can reassign uh, materials or swap them or change them as you please. So let's go back to our object menu. I have shortcut keys. V is assigned to switch to object mode. Let's go back to our camera. Now this is how we carve, and well, what? How do we add shapes? First of all, well, uh, it doesn't really matter. Press K; it will automatically select the grease pencil object. And uh, let's get rid of the screen. Um, all we have to simply do is press Union, and it remembers the last camera position and sticks to that. So now, whenever I make a shape like this, and press K. Now, uh, see what happens. We have this long, remember earlier when we were cutting? It's the same long shape again. But we don't want that. It's this button that's responsible for it. It uh, says here, cut through, just turn it off, and goes to a default extrusion length, which is 0 0.1 meters, which you can control from here. If you expand this section, you can see Extrusion. You can go forward or backward, or uh, you can simply click flip to change. Um, 
you can also use subdivision on the new sections and you can also randomize it and of course you can also if you expand the main transform section you can translate these rotate or scale as you please okay so let's do another shape sketch and car will remember the last settings you left it with so you'll keep repeating it unless you change it in this case we want to change it let's get rid of these subdivisions reduce the extrusion down a bit and there's something else that you might like we have smooth simplify noise now if you are wondering why some of the shapes come coarser than others is because of this simplification is set by default to 0 0.1 what it's really doing is uh, simplifying your grease pencil strokes now if I put it to zero you can see there's a great deal of detail here and something went oh I was wondering why I can't control the camera this is still selected here so yeah uh, let's put that back to 0 0.1 and there's another option here even spacing now the simplification algorithm works by uh, leaving more detail where it's needed and simplifying more in flatter areas like here but if you do click on even spacing it'll ignore that and it'll just evenly distribute so there are times where this is the more desired option but not at the moment and and we have this smoothing slider here what it does is basically smooth your shapes like this and we have a weld button here what it really does is basically it's almost like the simplification control it will set a minimum threshold and any point get closer to each other below that threshold will basically weld to each other I'm sure there'll be times that you might want to do something like that and towards the bottom here you can collapse these things when you don't no longer need them you can turn on smooth shading on off uh, especially if you turn these off we'll wait for another more proper shape <laughs> to make that more obvious and here's something else fill faces what it does is automatically apply faces to this end gun region and it'll be different depending on what your smoothing settings or simplification is most of the time if you're happy with angons great because they look cleaner and if you can get away with them in your modeling even better um, but there are times especially when you're applying these shapes on curved surfaces uh, you want it automatically triangulated what this really does is triangulate and also to try to revert it back to quads as best as it can now with the fill faces functionality along with it there's this face subdivide if you increase that you'll see that it's actually adding some some divisions again there are times that this might help let's turn it off we don't need it and we have the bevel options we have two bevel buttons here one of them is bevel global bevel global applies a bevel to the entire object you can also turn it on and off later on uh, when you have your object selected it's actually uh, residing on the under the main objects menu let me show that to you if you come here here it is you can turn it on and off it'll always be there so it's more of a global setting let's go back to our object
and bevel local is actually permanent you can apply it and once you press k to set it it will stay you can't really turn it off afterwards so use it with caution or when you know for sure that you actually want that bevel there now let's see we have some other buttons down here but uh, we'll talk about those later just apply s card modifiers actually relating to the non-destructive workflow so far as you probably noticed we are working in the destructive mode everything we do stays you can draw multiple shapes at once if you want as you can see they're all coming with bevels now because that's where i left it last i'm also going to quickly mention the lines lines only option here um, let's say if I draw something like this or rather let's draw something and press K and if I click lines only option instead of filling an extruding shape you will get a line a line object now uh, the extrude and thickness control still applies simply so use the slider to change the thickness of the curve uh, if you click loop lines this is what happens and if you click cubic lines this is what happens now the bevel is still on that's why you're seeing the bevel version i'll i'll just be brief uh, i'm going to go into details later uh, you can uh, change the line dimensions thickness or I don't even know what to call these um, X or Y dimensions you can roll the line like this and so on and so forth and the other interesting option that you might want to know is that we have a mute button here and what this does it actually allows you to go back to grease pencil stage and maybe make some changes and when you're unmuted you'll be right back to where you left let's say let's go and make some changes to this thing um, let's say this is what we wanted in the first place and then go back press k again and remember to unmute here you are now you can make further adjustments you can uh, naturally all the smoothing and simplification controls applies here too you can reduce the simplification even spacing maybe sometimes as I mentioned earlier this is the option you would prefer uh, you can smooth your lines okay so call the day for this for now thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye